Fastele vira hoshest. Zahila vash. Amina lahira. Oh Lord. Restore unto me the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. There's something that the Lord began to tell me as I was preparing for the service. I was in, in, a, in a kind of a deep prayer. And I, I wept. I never stopped weeping. It was even difficult for me to come to service this morning because I was so convicted by the Spirit of God about this particular thing. And it, it took me quite a couple of hours to regain my consciousness as I was into immersed brokenness as the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me about this. And um, he said, Teach on the fear of God. You, you may not even understand what I'm saying. He said that my fear has left my house. The fear of the Lord is no more in the hearts of men. The Lord asked me, where is my fear? And the Lord said, there are several folks across the world who supposedly ought to be men of the spirit. Christians who ought to be mature and the things of the Spirit are completely void of revelatory knowledge. And of course, the wisdom of God and all the benefits that come from the fear of the Lord. Now, I'm going to just share some few words and then we go home. And now everybody must go back and pray for repentance of our hearts and call on the spirit of the fear of the Lord to baptize us once again. I don't care about what you want me to pray for right now. We need the spirit of the fear of the Lord again. We're going to call on the Lord one more time, oh God. Give us the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Show us the part of the fear of the Lord. Keep us in the fear of the Lord. Lead us to that fierce part of his fear, of his holy fear. For this is the heart of the Father for this generation. God said, my son, look, look, look. He showed me the churches all, all, all over the world. He said, my fear is what is lacking. He said, every other thing is there. They praise me. They sing for me. They worship me. They preach about me. They have good sermons. They, 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 they do it. Yeah. It's all amazing. Good, good things are going on. But deep down in the hearts of these same individuals, they do not have deep fear for who I am.
And for so, they live as they wanted. They've done things because there's no fear. They have broken my laws because they have no fear for me. They have defied their temples. My temple. Because they have no fear of the Lord. They struggle to obey my instructions because they have no fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is not what a man can do. It is a spirit. It is a spirit that comes when a man is willing to obey the voice of the Lord. Lord, show us the part of your fear. We thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the ascensions. Thank you for the manifestations of your glory. But now, Lord, we need to be baptized with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. That we might walk in the statues of our Yeshua. That we might keep the laws and the commandments of our God. That we might please him that has called us unto righteousness. For this gathering is not the religious one. But it is the gathering where the voice of the Lord is heard. That men will come back to God in reverence. In deep respect. In deep obedience to his word. For he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He never changes. Do you not know that the hour of my election has begun? Do you not know that the hour of my appointments have begun? They who would obey me and those that will fear me from their deepest heart will I unleash the gates of knowledge and wisdom, life, and, and, and my glory to them and for their inheritance for the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge the days are critical and confusion is all over the world men don't understand the mysterious ways of the spirit. The letter has killed many. The letter had, had, had blocked the receptivity of many. The ways of the spirit are hidden from corner men. For God is not a man. His spirit. And he is the spirit of spirits. He dwells in an unapproachable light. The dimensions of God are unapproachable by any creature except the Holy Spirit welcomes you and gives you access into the fellowship of light. The doors of the spirit have been opened in these last days. And God is moving in a tremendous ways. Something is shifting in the atmosphere. God's spirit is moving in an unprecedented ways. God is moving in a way that has never been before.
precious Holy Spirit. Lift your hands up toward heaven. Oh Lord. Baptize us, oh God, with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. That we might receive the burning desires to walk in your status, to keep your commandments, to keep your laws. For this is fate. Without fate, it is impossible to please the Lord. Without obedience, Listen to this. Listen to this. Fate is another word for obedience in the New Testament. In the Old, it is used as obedience. In the New Testament, it is used as fate. The reason is, it, this is used as fate, or the reason it is used as fate, is because um, it is an innate ability of God given to every believer to walk in the statutes of God, to walk in the ways of the Lord, to walk the works of God. In the Old Testament, they had no capacity. They didn't have the ability to do so. But in the New Testament, we have the faith of Christ. To keep his word. To walk in righteousness. You see, I once preached this. I said, God gives you the gift of righteousness to live righteously. He gives you access to his presence to live holy. He healed you to walk in perfect health. He calls you to answer. What has it not done for us? And the Lord said, for this generation must obey my word. So much benefits attached to obedience, says the Lord. And so much disadvantages, so much vulnerability, so much consequences, so much attacks. So much shortcomings attached to disobedience. And of course, when we disobey God, uh, we are, it's a sign that we don't have the fear of God. The Lord appeared to me last night. He said, My people have lost the fear of the Lord. He said, He said, You're going to minister fear. Lord, take me back to where I began. Take me back to my first love. Take me back to your righteousness. I want to be conscious of God. One of the most important spiritual concepts and desires of God found throughout the Bible is the fear of the Lord. And of course, the concept of the fear of the Lord has been misunderstood as so many preachers. They always say, you know, we have that limitation to what the fear of the Lord is. And they say the fear of the Lord is actually reverence in God and, you know, deep reverence to God. Yeah, it is part of it, but it's not actually absolutely what it is. Can I tell you what the fear of the Lord is? 
an aspect of the fear of the Lord that we have neglected over the years. Number one, the fear of the Lord is Moses, you will not continue in this job. Come and get that now. You will not continue, Moses. Now nah, it's over. Get to the mountain. I will show you the promised land. This was the covenant promised land that you were supposed to enter with the people of Israel. But in the process, you lost fear for me. This is the end of your journey, Moses. That's an aspect of the fear of the Lord. Elijah, you will not continue. I'm done with this. Go cast your mantle on Elijah. I'm done. The time comes when God says it's over. For I am the Lord, I am gracious. I'm full of grace, but I cannot be mocked. For I have called you unto myself. There is a warfare in the realms. A lot is going on. We cannot be captured in carnality. We cannot be captured in division. We cannot be captured in immoralities. We cannot. We cannot be captured in hatred. We can't. This is the season that we purge ourselves in righteousness. I love what David said. He said, Lord, search my heart. Search me, O oh God. Search every corner of my heart. Is there anything in me that does not please you, Father? Oh God, remember it. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Cast me not away from your presence. Renew the right spirit within me. Set me again on fire. Oh, hallelujah. Sin kills something in your spirit. Everybody is going to cry before the Lord today. Father, we would not depart from here to there until we receive the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Before your love is perfected in Christ, before you have reached the perfection of love, Stay in the fear of the Lord. You see, love and fear work together. So when we talk about love, cast away all fear. No, it's not this fear that I'm talking about. Jesus had breached and dealt with the negative fear. We've been loved of the Father. We, we're bold enough to come to the throne of mercy by the grace of our Lord Jesus. So that fear of separation, that fear of eternal separation has been dealt with. So by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, we can come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy. But by the time we've been received by Jesus and by Christ, there is another fear that we ought to know. This fear is the spirit of the fear of the Lord. It's one of the seven spirits of God. Do you know that according to the book of Isaiah, 
the last seven spirits of God is the spirit of the fear of the Lord. The Lord told me last night, he said to me that this is the last spirit that will be poured out in the most profound way in the last days. And he said, if anybody does not receive this spirit, he will be part of those that will fall away. I don't care who you are. You can be a mighty preacher, demonstrate the spirit, demonstrate prophecies, and see the manifestations of the glory of God and still be cast away in the last day. You know why? Because you have no fear of God. You have no fear. So because you have no fear, you walked in iniquities. Because you have no fear, you didn't have quality time with the Lord. Now one of the greatest deception in the body of Christ is the deception of gifts of the Holy Spirit. So the gifts were not given because you are righteous or because you pray better or because you lived in a, in a holy the gifts were given because you asked for it so to operate with the gifts of the Holy Ghost does not guarantee eternal salvation or eternal security after life or during the day of judgment no, it does not what guarantees Eternal salvation is your commitment to the instructions of God. What is the fear of the Lord? I want to share with you what the Lord just, as I was writing, he just spoke to me about these things. And it says here that this is the commandment, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God has commanded me to teach you that you might do them in the land where you are going over to possess it so that you and your son and your grandsons might fear the Lord your God to keep to keep fear to keep the fear of the Lord will cause you to keep his words In the New Testament, the love for him will cause you to keep his commandments. But for now, some of you have not even developed an atom of love for him. What you're still basking on is the love of God. You're still enjoying the love of the Lord. Not that you've loved him. You've not that. Probably 90% of you here have not loved him. But maybe 10% or 5. Because if you love him, you will lay down your life for him. Signs that you love him is that you will keep his commandments with no struggles. With no struggles. But of course, we are, we are, we are, some of you are developing the love for him. But you are being surrounded by his love. You are still enjoying the love of God. But the, 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 the hour has come that we ought to stay in the fear of the Lord before we develop, before we can process and develop the love for him. Peter had to walk with Jesus to develop love for Jesus. It takes a man that is willing to walk with God to develop a deep love for God. You cannot love someone that you don't have a relationship with. You cannot love someone that you barely communicate with. Just think about this week that just went from Monday to Saturday. How many hours did you pray? How many hours did you study the scriptures? How many hours did you spend in your, in your secret place of prayer? Because that's where you develop love for him. 
often do you take time to seek the face of the Father? Go home and pray as a father. Restore your fear in my heart again. You are a few steps away to losing it completely. I don't know who you are. But thus says the Lord, you are two steps away, just two steps away to entering the state of spiritual apostasy. Your conscience are being sealed continuously. You're losing it, says the Lord. For this is your last chance. Go back and pray. Ask him to restore the fear of the Lord. The days are evil. Shazam Prime if you know no she is used. upon us. We call on your mercy. We call on your fear. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy. Mercy. Mercy Lord. Oh, Chevalier de Courage did never hold the motions. Lemion Kramano Shidavara Toshis Zeniano Savara Vara Doshis Evera Prangronosh de la Vrambra Hora Doshis Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 